If you're a Unicor owner, with the release of the recent GS Pro updates, you may be banging your head against the wall with how to navigate the software on the Unicor side. And Launcher has probably been the absolute center of all your headaches. If that's the case, stay tuned. I'm going to dive into how to solve those problems. Welcome back to GS Pro V2 Tips. And today we're not going to be really talking about GS Pro that much. We're going to talk about Unicor and how the recent GS Pro updates has forced our hand, so to speak, into doing things a little different than you may have been doing them, or maybe even doing things a little different than you may be comfortable doing. The Unicor is released a while back the Unicore Launcher. It can be found, as you can see on my page, on the Unicore resource. So it's unicore.com slash support slash resources. And if you haven't done so yet, please download and install the Unicore Launcher. If you need any help or assistance in how to install, Unicore does have an installation guide here for you that will step you through how to install it. So once you download it, run it, follow the instructions here and get it installed. Once it's installed, if you leave this checkbox here, run Unicore Launcher, when you click finish, upon finishing the installation, Launcher will start for you. There's also an overview guide. The overview guide will show you step-by-step -step on how to use Launcher, the different sections of Launcher, if you have an account already, um, which most of us will, if we're currently a Unicor owner, not a brand new user, then simply you know, you'll be able to convert your own, your old Unicor account for a new Unicor launcher account and all your stuff still should be there, especially that in the cloud. But this will step you through each aspect of it. Please take a minute and review this particular guide. So enough about that. I've got Unicore Launcher installed already. And here it is. And as you can see, it's broken up into sections. Here you have your launch monitor accessories and your software. You also have news down below, update releases, what was updated. As you can see, GS Pro has been updated, balance, being, balance optics, everything is all right here and the dates in which they were done. Here you have each piece of software that's been installed. So let's start here with devices. So this will show me the devices that I have, how I'm connected, my accessories, and you can change any of these setups. If you want to change to a different ethernet connection, um, you can do so. If you sign in correctly, this will show you all the licenses that you currently have. And if you have it installed on another machine, if you've moved to this machine or to a new machine, it'll show you the computer name and where it was registered at. If you purchase a new product, for instance, say for instance, I decided I was gonna purchase um, Refine, right? I have a free one month key that I haven't used, but say I wanted to purchase it, um, I could get the license and activate the license here. So to activate, for instance, Refine, I would simply check that I want to use Refine and activate that license. And then I would have one month to use that piece of software. If you want a step-by-step -step procedure on how to install any product that they have, simply select the product that you have and it will walk you through the installation process of that particular product to include the software, the hardware, and in this case of an IXO, how to even calibrate it step by step by step. So I can hit continue. Now tell me the launch monitor, install the power supply, continue. 
continue, continue, to continue, and it will walk you through installing everything. Settings. You can have Launcher start automatically when the computer starts. So you don't even have to start Launcher. It'll do it for you. If you want to see notifications from Unicore, you want to download and install the latest version automatically. If you want to enable the experimental beta update previews, you want to create a shortcut. Now, this is a big deal here. I'm going to come back to this setting um, in a little while, this create Windows desktop and start menu shortcuts for auto run. I'm going to come back to that later on. And of course, any help that you might want and is available out there, tools that are there, how to reinstall, searches, submitting information to support. There's a lot of stuff here. So here you can see that I have an IXO. It is connected. I can look at any settings that are, may be available to me and you can um, optimize your settings here. I probably should go in there and measure my IXO and put it in there. I'll probably get better performance. You can also open up the calibration and hitting areas. You can test a shot from here within settings. The same thing with your software settings. Now view is something that I use um, when I'm playing GS Pro. I have two monitors. So I have view open on one monitor with multiple windows open. And I have GS Pro open. But if you want to deal with your settings, you can say I want it in windowed mode or full screen, the resolution that you want it to open, and what monitor you have that you want it to display on when it does open. Additionally, you can see I'm currently using version 2023.10.13. You can look at the updates and see that I'm on the latest version. If I want to go to beta experimentation, go to simply go to settings, hit the beta experimentation, go back over here, let it refresh. And now you can see, hey, I have an update. It has been yellowed. Again, even if you're not using beta, whenever there is an update, I just clicked install by accident. Whenever you have an update, <coughs> Excuse me, it'll be there automatically for you. Okay. And it has been updated here as well. Now, if I don't want the beta version, I can simply click the, um, the reinstall of another older version. Okay. And get back to a different version if I so desire. Once everything is installed, as you can see, the third party connector, which is commonly used. Simply click start and the third party connector will begin on my second monitor as I would expect. And you can terminate it, you can see it started and you can also terminate it if you'd like to. All right, once that fires up. Now, depending on what you have installed and what you're using, you can click play. If you're using the trouble mat for the Unicor uh, X02, or if you have a trouble mat which has sand and rough and that, why not? Make sure you select that toggle as well. Now let's take a look at view. Simply click start. And it's going to start up on my left monitor as I instructed it to do. Okay, through the settings. Simply um, log into your Unicore account, hit start, and the session will begin showing you how to use View. Now, I've helped uh, recently helped a uh, Unicore um, QED owner who was using um, Ignite, um, and I don't know that I don't know a lot. I haven't spoken to anyone at Unicore, but I do know that uh, with Launcher with the QED that view um, works just fine and works perfectly and probably will give you all the same information that you would have gotten with um, Ignite. So anyways, as you can see, I've played, uh, I've used this quite a bit. So uh, my optic is uninstalled. And so if you've never used view, um, there's plenty of videos out there. Uh, Jay on um, um, Simulator Golf videos has a lot of um, what view is about, but there you go. That's view. 
terminate. And that is pretty much everything you need to know about the new Unicore launcher and what to do to get your software updated. Now, the setting I said I would come back to. People are like me when I first came, when this first came out several months ago, I went straight to it. I was working with GS Pro developers and working, making sure that GS Pro was working with the new version of Launcher and View. And there was some early versions and betas of GS Pro that I helped test to that end. And that basically wraps up how to use Launcher. Now let's talk about that little setting that I was referring to earlier about a desktop shortcut and icon. If you were anything like me, when this first came out, my first initial knee jerk reaction is great. I got to start up a piece of software, a launcher to be able to click and start a piece of software called view. When in times past, I simply had a shortcut on my desktop that took me straight to view one, one click. So now I got to start launcher. I got to start view. Well, I didn't want to do that. Well, I've now come accustomed to doing that because launcher starts up automatically. I get to see all my stuff, get to see about the updates. And I've actually, launcher has grown on me to where I believe now today that just push through the change and I think that you will begin to enjoy it. But for those that don't want to, or those that maybe run commercial operations and they just want to get the third party connector up and running so they can get GS Pro up and running. Well, let's just talk about that. So you see on my desktop, my desktop is pretty lean and clean. I got GS Pro and I've got Unicore, both launchers, right? That's it. So let's just say that I do want these icons on my desktop. So go on over to settings and click this button here, create Windows desktop and start menu shortcuts for the auto running. So many people have been getting the error license not found. That's because with the introduction of Launcher and the new versions of View and all of that, the licenses, the license structure and how to start View before is not going to work. So we need new shortcuts in order to run them directly. And this is going to solve that problem for you. So click this button and you can see at the bottom, they've been created for us. So let's go take a look now. Look at there. So now all three of the shortcuts for the products that I have licensed are currently now here for me to um, play around with. So I've got view, I have got third party connector, and of course, uh, this is beta, uh, game day beta. Um, so those three applications are there. So now I can operate them outside and independently of launcher. So let's terminate launcher. Bye bye. Now I want to go just straight to the third party connector. And there it is. And go from there, right? I'm not using the new trouble mat. So that takes care of gameplay. So you can see now without the view running, I, uh, without launcher running, I was able to get to third party connector. I can also get to um, view now without having to run launcher. I hope this has helped um, with you guys uh, having some issues with the Unicorn Launcher. I hope this helps with uh, getting GS Pro up and running as well. Um, I thank you all for watching. If you please take a moment to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it very, very much. Share, like, tell others, and most importantly, keep playing GS Pro.